I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I'm about to build a starter house for Bloxburg. Like, not just like, oh, I'm building a starter house. Like, I'm building the starter house that people will be able to purchase in game. How did I get here? I'm just a girl on her computer. I'm just a girl on her computer. This is a lot of pressure. So please join me on my journey of building a house for Bloxburg. I'm so excited to do this and I really hope you enjoy watching. I don't know why I'm saying this right now. I haven't even started building yet. <laughs> so I've been tasked to build a Greek revival. revival. I should probably learn how to say this word actually. <laughs> We're gonna learn this together. Greek revival. Okay, revival. Okay, so I've been tasked with building a Greek revival house, which if you didn't know, looks like this. They have big columns, they're usually white, and they're always symmetrical for the most part. Oh my gosh, no one here knows what I'm doing. Nobody here knows that I'm about to build one of the houses they can buy at Bloxburg. Or at least I hope so. What if like the dev team's like, uh uh, no way. What the heck? How do I get this down? Guys, what are you doing? How am I supposed to build a Greek revival house if aliens have come down from space in their little go-karts? My car! Girl, maybe you shouldn't have parked your car a good 20 feet up. Because this has to be the best build I've ever made in my whole life, we're actually gonna do that tactic where they find the exact center of the plot. That seems about right. They said I'm allowed to take inspiration, but that I can't just like outright copy one build. <laughs> Should I just make the White House? That's what I'm doing basically. I am really just building the White House. I like the look of this one. So I think I'm gonna try to do this. I do have a budget of, I think like close to 300,000. I guess I just gotta start placing walls. Oh, I hate this already. Oh God, this is so much so these houses seem to have one main unit and then there's units that come off to the side like this. This is actually looking really big. Ah, do I redo it? I don't know. I think I'm gonna make this smaller. I'm definitely like building outside my comfort zone here. <laughs> We're trashing it all. Bye, Bye now. Okay, this is feeling more in my comfort zone. I don't want this place to be massive because it has a budget, so. Placement failed. What do you mean? You can't fail on me, placement. Dude, I have a job to get done. You cannot just be failing on me like that. What am I supposed to do? I'm not allowed to use basic shapes in this place, so I can't just make a fake wall. Oh, well now the wall's magically there. Ugh, this is actually so stressful. Like, why am I so stressed? We win, we out, we win, we out. Okay, these windows definitely pull the build together. The black shutters, it, yeah. Yeah, guys, it's revival now. <laughs> I definitely made this front porch a little too tall because it's kind of cutting into the windows and doors, which is a problem. Oh God, and I messed that up too. You know what, I have a few days to work on this and I'll probably work on this off camera because it makes it a lot more stressful to be building in front of people. I think I'm just scared that people are gonna compare my build to everyone else's build and go, blah, 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 so-and-so is so much better. And the roofs are gonna be what takes up a lot of the budget. I mean, this roof right here is actually more expensive. The more flat I make it. Ah! I'm just gonna go with this and I'm gonna keep adding on to it. If I wanna make adjustments, I can. I have to reassure myself that this will work out. I will make a good build, I hope. I feel like I still made the house like way too big. Like, I think I want to make it smaller again. <laughs> okay, let me look at how much I've spent. Okay, the house is only worth 10 grand. We're okay. What if I put like a secret hidden basement where like people get trapped and killed? And maybe the devs would never find out and I could get away with it. Well, unless they're watching this video right now. In that case, I never made any secret hidden basement where I could trap little kids in Bloxburg. Wink, wink. I feel like I'm making this look more colonial than Greek revival. Let me look up the difference between the two just in case I'm doing this homework assignment wrong. Okay, I think they're actually pretty similar styles. Let's hope the devs can't tell the exact difference between colonial and Greek revival. <laughs> or else I'm gonna fail this assignment, just like all of my school assignments when I was in high school. This needs some color to it. It's feeling so bland right now. It needs some lighting, that's for sure, and maybe some gardening. Uh, Oh, I can already feel the hate comments coming in for using linen lighting, but it's all I've ever known. Oh no, oh no, I want to change up this flooring. That's gonna delete all my pillars. Ugh. Fine, fine. This is so frustrating. I just, I feel like I'm not good enough for this. Oh goodness, I forgot there's a sides and back to this. This is just the front I'm working on and I'm struggling. I mean, I'm learning, I'm slowly learning, which is kind of sad that I'm learning now that I'm building a actual house for Bloxburg. I keep saying that over and over again. It's because I can't wrap my head around it, but I'm gonna try to work on some gardening to see if that'll also help pull it together. They want me to do some really traditional, very simple gardening, nothing too crazy. You know, it's not like,
like a forest or a jungle. I'm assuming trees like this that are very pampered. <laughs> I can't think of a better word. Okay, this is already looking a lot better <laughs> with just a few pieces of greenery. Oh, what's going on? Oh, she's admiring my build and I see a shadow above me. Y'all are really trying to get a bird's eye view. But now that I'm looking at this from afar, I actually like it. Like it's growing on me. I'm gonna name this house so it has like a deep connection with me. I'm gonna name her Samantha. Let's take a little look at Samantha so far. I feel like right here, there needs to be something. I feel like it just looks a little strange at the front here, but I like the details on the sides. I included the pillars that they want and the balcony. So it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too shabby. They also want a greenhouse, which I'm gonna try to actually attach this greenhouse to the side of this. greenhouse thing is gonna work out very well. At least not attached to the house. I don't know how to make that look very good. I mean, maybe if I added some gardening to it. go for the day because I have places to be people to see but I will definitely be working on this off camera and I'll be back later to update you guys on how it's coming along oh goodness I hope this is good enough I really hope this is good enough okay I'll see you later welcome back I remember to do the snap thingy <laughs> This is how the plot is coming along. I added this outdoor seating area because that was one of the requirements. I also added some more gardening, some pathways. I'm gonna make more adjustments to this in the future, but I decided to move on to the interior. So this is a three bedroom, two bathroom house. And so far I have spent 100,000, which means I have about $170,000 left on furniture. I'm pretty sure I can stay within that budget. My mom just closed the door. She's done hearing me talk YouTube. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this build. Do I start with this kitchen, the living room? You know, I think I'll start with the living room. That feels the most comfortable. Get it? Comfortable because comfort and you sit on a couch. I think I'll have the living room area be up here, more of the family game room, I guess. And then in here will be like where you bring your guests and you have your little tea and crumpets and you, you know, you talk about Mrs. Sally, your next door neighbor, you know. struggling with a color scheme for this. First I went with green and now I'm thinking blue. Maybe I just need to keep decorating and the color scheme will come to me later. I literally woke up at six this morning so I'd have enough time today to work on this. I have been so stressed about this. You don't understand. The nightmares, they've been real. <laughs> took a structural beam right here and I did a little, a little bit of this type of action. Now I'm always really bad at making these like straight. That seems pretty straight to me. Just like my love life. Can you confirm straight? I like that a lot more. It definitely adds more detail. I'm gonna continue watching a YouTube video while I'm building. I'm a teenager. Of course I can't play Bloxburg without also watching a YouTube video in the background. Um. So next I'm gonna work over here on the dining room. This should be pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, it's just a table and some chairs. I don't know if I'll ever be 100% happy with this build, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, as long as I just get it done, that's all that matters. I have another hour to work on this and then I gotta go. So I'm gonna continue watching some YouTube videos. One eternity later. Here's what I've done to the dining room. I yet again went with this blue theme. I'm thinking maybe I'll do the whole house this blue. <sighs> I'm really trying here, guys. I'm really trying. But I'm gonna move on to this kitchen, which is actually the biggest room in the house. So what are we thinking about this? I've never done like a fridge in the cabinets like 
properly in a wall like this. And then I have this little round table. I kind of like it. I want this build to really stand out, to be something completely different. Okay, well, that's a bit of a stretch. Guys, this build, it's gonna stand out. It's not gonna be like the other builds. what the kitchen is looking like. I like it. I'm trying to mix my own style with what the devs are asking of me. We got the coffee pot. I don't care if this is from like the colonial Victorian times. They will have a luxury coffee pot. Anyway, yet again, I have to go. I have lunch with my Nana. So I'll see you all later. Maybe when the build is done actually. You know how I said that maybe next time you see me, the build would be finished? Well, tomorrow, the build is due. And so today, I spent like a good six hours working on this. And it's finally complete. I feel a weight off my shoulder. But that's as long as the devs don't want me to make any changes. Which I'm really hoping they don't ask me to take away my pastel color pink. If you can download this build and it doesn't have the pastel pink in it, that wasn't me. Anyways, enough ranting. It's time to get to touring. And yes, I'm filming this on the April 1st update, which is why the trees look like that. So welcome to... Hold on, why did I already forget the name? The Greek Revival House. <laughs> they wanted me to do really simple gardening and they wanted a little outdoor dining area. They wanted a large driveway with an outdoor parking area. And then over here, if you take a little walking path, there is an attached greenhouse. But when we head on side, Welcome to the grand entryway. They wanted a foyer that was really big and beautiful. Well, I'm hoping this is beautiful. But when you face this way, there is a grand piano, a little seating area. When you go off to your right, you guys saw me building this room. I made a few adjustments to the color scheme. I was really, really struggling with it, but they did recommend for me to use blue, I'm pretty sure. It also attaches to the greenhouse from the living room, which is nice. And then that also enters into the grand dining area. Over here is a little hallway area area. I don't really know what you'd call this, but I didn't want this kitchen to be so big that it took up this whole room. So I kind of divided it with this little L-shaped wall, but that does lead us on into the kitchen. I can't remember if I recorded this or not, but I was yet again, really struggling with the color scheme of this place. And I sat on it for a few days and decided to change it up. And I went with this dark green color because I feel like it, that gives like, like old rustic vibes, right? Anyways, when we head back into the grand foyer and we take a left instead, it leads into this hallway, which leads into to this bathroom, which I am in oh. love with this bathroom. It's a very big space, but I think it works really well because you got this carpet that takes it up. Hopefully the devs won't mind me using like these light green colors, but I did ask them if I was allowed to add my own little personal touches and I feel like pastel colors are my personal touches. And don't worry, every bathroom has toilet paper. I did not forget. Down the hall even further, it leads into the utility room. We have just a bunch of storage stuff. You have your laundry machines. When you head on up these stairs, it leads into another family room. And this is where people can actually watch TV together. Since the downstairs room is more for, you know, teen crumpets. And when you go into this little hallway and you go off to your left, it leads into the master bedroom. This was quite a big space. So I kind of cluttered it up with just a bunch of junk everywhere. This this room also leads into its own personal bathroom and this is where I included pink. And this room also leads out onto a balcony which looks out onto some very suspicious uh faces. What is this? Since when did Roblox allow this? Across the hallway, we have another bathroom. This looks like a very fancy little bathroom. You got your own sink with all this storage space. When you head up the stairs and go right, it'll lead you to yet again, another big bedroom, which leads into like a little closet area. But when you walk out of that closet area, it leads you into the actual bedroom. And then the final room is the little kitty's room. So I thought it'd be fun for role players to have a little kid's room. I'm hoping it's okay that I kind of went hand with a bunch of toys everywhere, even though it's supposed to be old fashioned, but I did leave an old fashioned computer. <laughs> but that is it for this build. I cannot say it's my best work ever, but it's that or I scratched the whole thing and I don't have time for that. I'm just so worried that once all these builds have come out, people are gonna start comparing all the YouTubers and going, so-and-so's build was so 
much better. So I better not be seeing any comments about that on anyone's videos because everyone builds in their own way. Like this is my personal style and how I build and other people are probably very different than me. And I'm excited to see if this actually like gets uploaded. Like that's so exciting. Guys, I'm bored of Bloxburg. If my house is on the Bloxburg catalog, go download it. That would be great. I would literally love to see this just chilling in my neighborhood sometime. But that is going to be it for today's video. This was definitely an exciting one. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later. Bye, my beautiful bubbles.